Researchers say that they're seeing a disturbing sign for one form of wildlife that migrates through New Jersey. An ongoing study shows a sudden drop in the number of monarch butterflies spotted in New Jersey. And there's concern that they could disappear in the state. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. Even in early November, Paige Cunningham and Louise Samitis are capturing and tagging the monarch butterflies that make their way through Cape May Point. It's a stopover on the monarch's 2,000-mile fall migration to Mexico. The New Jersey Audubon Society takes part in a research project monitoring the monarchs. A small tag is placed on each of the captured butterflies. Now, I'm not hurting the butterfly. Scales are providing the color and the camouflage, but underneath is the strength. The tags are used to help track their migration as they fly on their journey south. Whether it's in Georgia, North Carolina, Mexico, or even just in Chincoteague, Virginia, um, if they recapture it, they'll send the information of when they caught it, where they caught it, the time. Other data, like where the butterflies are found, wing size, and body fat are also collected. This one has very good wings. There's hardly any scratches. There's no bird bites or rips in it. This year's population count and tagging effort have found that the number of monarchs is plummeting in New Jersey. It's a good example of how what happens in one part of the world has an effect here, and perhaps what impact climate change can have on a species. In the 13 years that this count has been conducted in Cape May, an average of 40 monarchs an hour are usually counted. This fall's count, conducted from September 1st to October 31st, recorded fewer than nine per hour. Deforestation in their Mexico wintering grounds combined with harsh weather there killed two-thirds of the population in 2002. Researchers say continued habitat destruction in the U.S., along with the cold, wet weather this spring in the Northeast, have also taken a toll. The cooler weather kept the monarchs farther south. Researchers say if these dramatic declines continue, the eastern population of monarchs could disappear within 20 years. They monitor the populations in Mexico, and they're proving that uh, as each year passes, there's less habitat for the monarchs, and therefore fewer that uh, will survive with each uh, time the, they get their freezing rains and cold weather down there, and fewer to get back here. There were still a number of monarch caterpillars around late in the fall. Zamitis says many homeowners whose gardens have plants used by the monarchs have provided some relief. Being a caterpillar in November, I don't know. He's got a few weeks to go yet before he's an adult, and that puts him right up with the frost. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Cape May Point.